So what's up, yo? I am about to pull into the garage and just got done ripping. And I was on my way home, and I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, I, that was an like that was awesome. Like that little session I just had, right? So, uh, bottom line, I went out at about an hour ago, and I drove around, and I stopped by the first spot. And the first spot, I set my quad up. Um, I didn't go prepared. Always be prepared. Seriously, always be prepared. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress how much, how important it is to go ready, like with your quads, no matter where you're going fly, whether it be a race or a freestyle fun session, put batteries on your quads, fresh props, be ready so when you pull up, you can jump out, get your packs in and start going. Because what happens is you get there and you get set up. And as you're setting up, somebody shows up to the spot that's supposed to be using the park for the real reasons, right? And then what happens? You're like, oh, I set up my ground, blah, blah, blah. I did all this stuff, put new props on. No, I'm ripping, right? And then you go rip and you're never in a good mind, whatever, right? So look, people drove up as I put the last prop on and I'm like, ah, I closed the tood or the trunk of my car. I drove to the new spot that I was gonna go, which was a good spot I knew was gonna be good for sure, so I wouldn't get aggravated. And I showed up and I got two good packs in. So when I say two good packs, first pack, and this was actually live, you can go to my Facebook channel and see it. Um, the first two packs, uh, I ripped the first one full flight, kind of getting used to the area. I hadn't flown in about two months, but did a little bit of ripping. It was fun. It was good to fly in the first couple of days that I haven't flown. And so after that, I put another pack in and I really ripped it. And about halfway through, I kind of skipped off the ground and ended up in some bushes, but I didn't break any props. I didn't bend anything. So I went and picked it up and I finished the pack off, right? So like, I was good. Like after that pack, I was like, yo, like totally feel good about that, right? So totally left and um, was driving. I was contemplating in my head. I, was, I told myself, I'm gonna go to the crane by my house on the way home and top, like get one rip if I can, if I'm feeling it. But along the way, I stopped and I saw this other little spot and I got out and I did this like one pack rip, like minute and a half, two minutes tops. Uh, you're gonna see it here in a little bit where I'm like power looping this little bridge I'm standing on. Totally raw, never been to this spot before. Um, got in, got out, got in my car and I was driving home. I was like, I don't even need to go to the crane. I feel good. And that's where I ended up. So I'm asking you, what makes a good session for you? Because for me, like this, Three pack took me 55 minutes from when I left the house to when I walked, well, drove back in. Uh, and I only got three, you know, three and a half packs, maybe three packs, um, but it was good. Like I felt good about it. I didn't crash. I had, I, besides the skip off the ground, came back and landed every other pack. Totally just, you know, from start to finish, good flying. Uh, feel good about it. So what makes your sessions good? That's what I want to know because I want to kind of know how people feel i mean some people do they need 10 packs do you need like one i mean i've gone out and gotten one hello rip and walked away and just been like done like i love doing that like that's my ultimate rip right like you don't get many of those but i'm comfortable like my zone is two to three packs if i can get take off to landing back and that's usually not that bad these days i mean you know for most seasoned pilots that, that's no longer an issue so um anyways Tell me, tell me in the comments, hit me up. I don't know. Let's talk about it. I just thought it was fun to talk about. Fly safe, fly smart. Just fly. It's Sunday. It's fly day. Peace.